Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, KR. Uh, I got a tutorial to ask me how does um Studio work. So uh, we're gonna open up our jailbroken iPod. And um, here's Studio. I have mine down here, as you can see. And uh, you open up. And um, Studio is actually pretty basic, but first, first time I ask you to open this, it's gonna ask you like graphical user and hacker and uh, developer. Um, developer essentially just gives you more like code based. Like it allows, it gives you all the same apps as it would if you gave if you quit the uh, graphical user. But um, when you pick developer, it gives you more like code ones too, like Java and so forth. So um, uh, the featured themes and whatnot you have to buy. As you can see, you have to buy these. But if you go to the selections. And then all these are free. So you got game. Oops, you got games here. And there's a whole bunch of games here. But right they have like the Fallen Sand game and everything. But um, see here's Java. You can get a Java programming on here, like Java Swap and whatnot. And um, keyboards, you can change your kind of keyboard you want. Those are free. And then um, multimedia, you know, downloader. I've had people asking for free movies. Um, I think it was this one is the one that gives you free movies. I believe. Wait to it. Um. Yep, you can get uh, free movies on here. And then um, it, for themes and stuff, you're going to hold it down to T or themes. And you can pick a whole stock theme here. And this will get the whole theme for you. Or you can make the theme custom with your, like, with your, like, you know, custom like add ons, battery, and everything by itself. Which that's what I did. Um, of course, if you're an iPod, you don't need the SMS or SBS or SB settings. So, um, other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, in order to download it, what you can do is you can go to um say I want to change my uh, dock and uh, say I want to uh, I don't know what dock do I want mm, I'm trying to find something to be amazing uh, here's pick wood dock and then what you can do is you go up to the top right hand corner and you click install and then confirm and just going to install it some require you to restart your iPod, some don't. I don't think this does. Nope. Just click return to Cydia. And then back up Cydia. And then you're going to go to win winter board. And then you're going to go down to select themes. And then I'm going to get rid of Vibe Mac Dock. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now here it is Blue Dock. Click on it. Click on it. See? And then you click go back. And you click respring. I'm just gonna restart your iPod. Okay. And there you go. See, now it's flat. Before I had Mac OS on it. So I'll change that back to Mac OS and so you can see the difference. Go back. And respring. And let's restart again. And there you go, now I got the Mac OS. So that's basically how you use Cydia, it's pretty easy. And, um, that's about it. Um, and, uh, just this application, just go. I'm not sure I got the application to search, um, like, the, the, um, categories. And it allows you to put these in these folders, like, I have all these different folders on here. So, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Does not affect like when you jailbreak it. Does not affect your music and everything. I still have all my music on here. And then same thing with movies. Doesn't affect your movies. See. So, uh, everything is still here. So uh, that's it.